shocking new study reveals that if you're suspected of using AI in your applications, your chances of getting hired fall off a cliff. That's what researchers found when they asked participants if they suspected freelancers of using AI, how they rated the freelancers' writing quality, and ultimately, if they should be hired. It follows other recent studies showing that AI users are considered to be less intentional and their work judged to be of lower quality. So why is this happening? And if you're job hunting, what can you do to protect yourself from the risk of being suspected of AI use? Well, it's happening because while generative AI's output might read as quite unique to you, if you're a recruiter, you're reading hundreds of these documents and similarities become more readily apparent at scale. And there's another hint from the writer and professor Meredith Broussard, who describes the AI voice as being more formal and mediocre than most people. So without serious editing, people likely won't take you seriously. And I think this is exactly what's going on. Recruiters aren't taking candidates they suspect of using AI all that seriously because they can't get a sense of the person behind the words. And if you can't get a sense of the person behind the words, you're unknowable, you're a risk. And so we come to the second point. If you're job hunting, what can you do to protect yourself from being suspected of AI use? Well, obviously one way is not to use AI at all or to use it in very limited forms, whether as a sounding board or to ask it for an outline. A second way might be to enrich any output you get from generative AI with your own stories, with your own words, and definitely getting rid of any language that just simply doesn't sound like you. Meredith Broussard's formal and mediocre description of AI output also gets one other thing right. It's so easy to be taken in by formal sounding language and equate it to quality, especially if we don't have confidence in our own writing ability. But the evidence now exists to show perhaps it is better to not take the risk and to write with your own words. Now, if you want to know how to write quality applications, see these cover letters from scratch. This is exactly the channel for you. You'll want to check out these videos next. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. I'll catch you next time.